Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors in Winston Chester. Glad you're here this morning. Got a great show lined up, and you're going to really enjoy our special guest. But first, our weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center at 767-5500. High today is going to be 82 and low tonight 69, but what's fascinating on our numbers is the water temperature. We talked about, you know, it stayed at 82 degrees for oh, four and a half weeks, and then yesterday it dropped down to 80 degrees. Well, today we're talking about a 78 degrees uh, water temperature, and that's quite a drop in just a short period of time. So I uh, have a little cold current going through there, and a lot of action should be happening around the piers and over the mouth of the pass and all. Okay, let's look at today's uh, weather. Uh, like I say, it's 82 and 66, but the river readings, the Apalachicola at Bluntstown, we're reading at 2.5. The river's going to be in great shape this weekend for any kind of, uh, you're going to fish up in those sloughs, it's going to be a little bit shallow getting up in them, but the Choctatchee at Caraville, it's a steady four foot today. It's going to drop down about 3.8 by Friday afternoon, but both rivers, again, I would say that's in great shape. We want to do some squirrel hunting and get up in there squirrel hunt in the morning and fish when you get back to the boat. It'll be a great opportunity to do it. Now let's take a look at our tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn Funeral Home and Cemetery. Their motto right here on 23rd Street, the motto is when carrying counts. And we're right in the middle of those neat tides. Not a lot of activity going on. It's just a flat today and, and you can see we're wrapping up October and I'll have a November and we do get a little bit of tides coming up this weekend but today not much tide at all. All right, our marine forecast will be coming out of east, southeast at five to ten. A little bit of east wind right there, but not a strong, not a strong breeze unless you get on out a little bit further. All right, that wraps up our weather. We'll be right back with our special guest. Welcome back, folks, and welcome to our special guest, Mandy Miller Warren. Good, Good morning. morning. Happy you, to be here. Good to see you, honey. I usually shake hands with those ugly guys, but I get a pretty girl on them, I'm to hug her neck. But I've known Mandy since she was little, and we go way back, one of my former students, and her family. Just welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. I'm excited to be here. Well, we're glad to have you. And we, we're always talking about ladies in the outdoors, and Mandy is just the epitome uh, of the ladies in the outdoors. And she started at a young age, but speaking of young, let's talk about a little bit of your family legacy. Tell the folks about the family you come from and as far as our our outdoor heritage here. Well, I am. I'm, I'm blessed to have a wonderful, wonderful family. Uh, my great grandparents were uh, the Davises and the Millers, and a long, long background of fishing and and uh, history in Bay County. So, yep. I'm very, very blessed. Well, I, and I featured them in my book. Here, here's the uh, Captain George Davis, and uh, we did a. What was fascinating to me I, when I was doing the book, Mandy, you were in my class, and we were talking about. Uh, I learned I'd find something out and I'd come the next day and tell you in school and you were just tickled. I, I remember some of the times you were excited about it. So Yes, that was really cool because um, you would talk about something I was able to go find some sort of picture or background story or, or something to go along with it and that was really exciting. Yeah. I learned a lot. Uh, we, uh, we'll go on. I, I took out a couple of these pages here just out of the book just to so we'll tie this in as we do the interview this morning. This is your great uncles who were Joe Ed, Duck, and Grover. Yes, very innovative, um, amazing men that uh, brought a lot, brought a lot to the fishing community uh, back then. So I think you use a key word, innovative, there. Okay, and, and this was and your, your grandmother. That's their sister. Yes, my grandmother, wonderful woman. My father's mother, uh, Claire Nell Miller, and uh, she was working on the head boats then as well, just so, like the rest of the family. So the whole family always worked around in, uh, in, in, the, in the boating industry. Just about, yes, absolutely. Yeah. We're going to show one more picture out of the book. This is one of my favorite ones here. Uh, these two young ladies, these two girls. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was uh, Megan and I on the back of the Linda Gale a long time ago. And then there's my dad over um, on the other side, and he's building his little Carter craft, uh, which he loves to piddle with. So, um, yeah, lots of fun time. <laughs> okay, so we we'll talk about, you know, you, know the, you grew up fishing and all, and, and right now, let's talk about present day. Tell us, folks, what you do present day. 
Um, still work for my family business. I work for my dad with him every day, and I'm lucky enough to be around my uncle and, and lots of family, and I love what I do. We have a boatyard in Southport called Miller Marine. We do all kind of repairs from little outboards all the way up to big yachts. We also build custom boats, so if you need anything, come see us. And, and the background on the boats that your dad is, and the company has, has built, uh, some of the local boats still around, what are some of these boats, these Miller, Miller boats, we call them? Right, we, um, we have a 36-footer all the way up to a 72-footer. Both are available. Uh, all of them are custom. There's been 23, I think, so far. He um, has, has uh, built them from the ground up, and uh, there are some local ones, the Not Now and the Cat and Around and the Re-Rig, and there's some others, so it makes yeah. me proud to see him going across the bay. Yep. Yeah. And you are, you're a full-time uh, worker, a mom, and a wife, and tell us about your family. Uh, mom of two, Riley and Reese, little six and eight-year-old. They love uh, everything, love the outdoors. Um, i got a wonderful husband, wonderful in-laws, and uh, we share a lot of the same um, hobbies, and so we have a lot of fun together. And I, I know uh, she's on Facebook. I, that's one of the reasons I love Facebook, to keep up with uh, you know, I, I can see some of the things you're doing when I don't have to go by and see you. I, now I'm going to go by and see y'all, don't I? If everybody could just live like they live on Facebook, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, we could just play all the time. So. Uh, I know I know it. And your sister, Megan? Sister lives right beside me. Um, we have the compound where we all live up in Southport, and um, she does the same stuff, and we all just, she worked with us until last year, and now she's working over Eastern. So. At Eastern Marine, so she's still, still mm -hmm. working around both. Still in the, in the marine industry, yep. Now, I guess the hardest thing to me, because uh, I, I know y'all so well, to me, uh, looking at, at your family and all, at, at your family business, when I go by there, it's, it's hard to find your dad. I think the hardest thing for you to do at work is keep your dad yes, there on the job. Yes, yes. Because he, he's always wanting well, to Well, not now because we're building. Oh, now that we're building again, he'll love that. Okay, so, so he's back on hands-on? Yes, he's hands-on. You can find him there anytime building that 36. So. Okay. All right, look, we have all kind of great other pictures and all. We're going to go and take this break and come right back and show you some more pictures. Okay, welcome back. So here with Mandy Miller Warren, and we're talking about ladies in the outdoors. And we we just have some outstanding ladies in this panhandle who are strong outdoor ladies. Great ladies. And a lot of them are your friends. Oh, man. I mean, I could only hope to, you know, kill things like Kim Ellisor is killed. And, and uh, man, just to see all the all the different ladies that have, have, uh, have gotten into all these different sports. And yeah. not even just hunting, but even shooting or... Um, you know, anything on the water, and it's, mm -hmm. it's inspiring. It gets you out there. You want to do more of it. And we're always encouraging, you know, young people and ladies and all, but check out this picture right here. Right, this was, uh, tell us about this picture. Uh, well, I decided a couple years ago, my sister and I love to dove, dove hunt, and um, we have such a good time, and it's such a social thing. I decided, you know what, I've got so many friends that are either afraid of guns mm -hmm. or never been around them or just don't have the... Um, the, the people to take them or whatever, I'm just going to throw together a women's shoot and, and dead gum it. I'll just make some dove hunters since there's not any around. So, <laughs> so we did it and it was addictive. We had such a great time and everybody shot and shot and shot. And we didn't actually kill any doves because nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but what? we shot a lot of clays and had such a wonderful time. And I tell you what, I think I created a monster because I, we are going back. Well, I, I'm going to come out there with my camera next time. Please do. And, and that will cause, I'm, it's, it's going to be a hoot just because I know a lot of these ladies here and it's fascinating. Uh, but you saw that some of them ran to Walmart and got their different clothes oh, man, and all. Oh, man, man, we had, uh, let's see, monogram, camo, boots. <laughs> and, you know, that's another thing that's gotten so commercialized. I think what, whatever it takes to get somebody outdoors, just get outdoors. If, if it's because right. you want to wear some pink camo, then get outdoors in your pink camo. Just That's whatever right. it takes, just get out there. And, and I think it's really important that don't, don't just go to people that are outdoors people. Go to people that aren't outdoors people and take them on, on uh, whatever, those free fishing days where you don't have to have a license or, um, now, it, you know. You know, you stop and listen to what she's saying. Now, will she be great teaching outdoor education at Mosley? <laughs> Or would she be doing a great at Panhandle Outdoors? Have Panhandle. another class. Those are so important, those classes, because young, especially young women, that are never going to be introduced to that, maybe don't have a father around, don't have anybody to do that, man, to open up their eyes and go, this might be something I like. It might not, but it might be. Just just have an open open, uh, open and, mind and, and get out there and yeah, try it. And don't be see, afraid. Yeah, just get out great. there and try it. 
that's great. And we see it year after year. And, and, and you know, I'll and bet. You, you've seen it. And, yeah. And to carry on and have a little dove shoot like this and all. Uh, let's pick out a couple more pictures in here, Mandy. Uh, oh. uh, we got so many great pictures here. I mean, she just uh, a bunch let's of see. them. Let's see. Well, we did a ladies fishing trip. One that of the things, uh, yeah. Okay, let's check this one out here. Tell us about this trip. Um, well, that was with Stephanie Hobbs, another awesome outdoor lady. Um, she has a girls fishing trip a couple times a year, and that was with her. And, and boy, she knows how to do it. I mean, we catch <laughs> crazy amounts of fish, just, and we have so much fun together. And once again, taking women that might not usually be able to do mm -hmm. that and showing them how to do it and just creating more and more women that, that are loving the outdoors and appreciating it. And, and instead of being afraid of it, just jumping out there and mm -hmm. doing it. Now you were showing, okay, go ahead. Your uh, technology is just amazing here. You, okay, you want to shoot that? Let's shoot that deer again. Okay, huh. tell us about this one. Uh, that was last year. Super excited. Like I said, this finally those really boring uh, mornings paid off. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how I got interested in hunting because early mornings is so hard to get up. But like I said, it's it's that uh, hearing that that turkey gobble or or seeing that, that flat bay in the morning. It's something about it. You, if you haven't done it, just, just get up. Get up one morning. I know it hurts, but get up and get out there. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's a, that's a nice book. Uh, where did you get that book from? That was um, at, at Camp Four. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. That was at my dad's place. You're talking about, you also tell There's not just bears up there. There are deer. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of bears. But. You're talking about how much you enjoy hunting turkey now. Yes. My father and uncle um, are huge turkey hunters and I finally did it with them um, well actually we did it for a couple of years and finally I, I got one and I have never experienced something so wonderful and once again get out there and hear that turkey gobble in the morning it is unbelievable unbelievable so uh, it really you know you're out there in springtime and all and, and you're talking to them and, and everything and it's just uh, absolutely beautiful mm. well we have just yeah. scrolling through a lot of pictures here and, but man, is what a great spokesperson she is for, for ladies in the outdoors. And, and I know your, your daughters, I know y'all do go scalloping a lot. Oh, we spend a lot of time in St. Joe. Once again, this whole area is a playground. I mean, people just don't know, especially women, if, mm -hmm. if you're stuck inside or if you're just too busy with kids or too busy doing stuff, you don't have to travel far. I mean, the, the Panhandle is just a beautiful place and there's so much to do. I was telling Coach Chester, get over to Weewa. Beautiful in Weewaw. The Tauntons, they we, do. We have a great uh, view and artists in Weewaw. We, we do. Oh, it's, it's just beautiful over there. And I was telling mm -hmm. Coach, if you want to get your kids out, take them over to the Tauntons. It is a playground over there. Huge, mm -hmm. beautiful place to, to play. They do scavenger hunts. They get muddy. <laughs> I mean, you want to teach your kids about the outdoor, get over there to yeah. talk to Diana and Judge Taunton. It's just amazing. And, and we've always, you know, uh, talk about outdoors all the time and all, but you, you mentioned something while ago. You don't necessarily have to go out and pull a trigger or, or shoot a bow or catch a big red snapper. The idea of getting outdoors. Just get out there, and, yeah. And, and, yeah. And doing it. I think a lot of people are just a, a, afraid or, or not maybe not afraid, but intimidated. Intimidated might don't, be a good You word. don't really make time and for especially it. especially girls. Yes, yeah. yes. You're, you're never in the environment, and it's like, well, I'm not missing anything. Mm -hmm. But you are. Yeah. You are. If you just don't, you just got to jump out there. Well, you know, the FWC has, has all, all over the state of Florida, they have a workshop called uh, Women's Outdoor World or something. And they have a weekend just to expose women to the different part, segments of the outdoors and all. They no, have I have to say I didn't know that, though. Yeah, I, they, I, I they, they do that, that statewide to try to encourage our, the females to get out there and all. So, And then I think about... Uh, them putting that on, I'm looking right here in, in Bay County in the Panhandle. So many, we have so good, hardcore women who are really good at outdoors. I mean, they love well, it. And, and once again, you know, when, when I put together that dove shoot, of course I invited those women, but I want to invite the ones that, that don't know or, yeah. or the, the ones that have never picked up that gun or really have never yeah. thought about it or never wanted to. Those are the ones that really get addicted and, and yeah. like, you know, like me, you just kind of don't have time and then you pick up that gun and you're like, oh, I'm going to make time for this. This is a blast. You just have so much fun with these and women. Y'all came back and did some skeet shooting. Oh, yeah. Last weekend, we, we put down a couple boxes and we just had a ball. So. Yeah. 
brought the husbands and kids this time. So yeah, well, and I found out in, you know, class of forty, what you mentioned, out of class of forty kids in, in my outdoor class, there's always a, a nucleus that you know, like you and the Matt Smith and Justin Leakes and all that are that know the outdoors, but that other group too, they're the ones that are just their eyes are sparkling when you start talking about. Well, that. they start, they pick up a cast net and they're like, "What do you do with this?" And yeah. then you throw it. Oh man, that's a challenge. I think I'm going to try to get good at that. And mm -hmm. And then you put a mullet in it, and it makes it even more exciting, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's why I didn't just throw them out there on the doves. You know, I don't know that they're ready to to kill something yet, but uh -huh. they're one step closer. Now they're itching. <laughs> one step so closer. hey, you know, maybe next time we'll yeah. we'll uh, kill a dove. And again, we're talking about the area, and, and we to have a TV show to come on every day on outdoors. You couldn't do that a lot of other places, but around here oh, you can. Man. And the class, I think, I think your class is so important. And I wish they had it in every single school because <laughs> just the introduction is just something to appreciate. You know, the four yeah. F's, the four yeah. F's that I never forgot. Tell you, faith, <laughs> family, friends, and fun. Okay, very that's, good. That's 10 I'm years impressed. Ago, you remember that? Ago. Let's take our final break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm sitting here with Mandy Miller Warren, uh, just a great outdoor lady and just a great girl, and now a great young lady and a mom and all that. I've, thank you. That's, thank uh, you. What, I what's the, all that. Uh, what's the most challenging part of your day? You getting up in the morning and then going to bed at night during a normal day, Mandy? What? Uh, oh, I would say mornings. Yeah, mornings, mornings are. Oh man, they're rough. Getting, but, getting the kids ready for every, school. Yes, mornings with any children are got to be hard. <laughs> if anybody's good at it, please let me know what you're doing. <laughs> I think I think all of my my daughter has the same the same thing. She's getting the kids ready for school and getting ready ready for each job. Yes. And all. Yes. So, uh, okay, let's take a look at our fishing game forecast for today. Brought to us by Mark Coward of Edgewater Beach Realty. The two times that we're going to really be hopping today, we're looking at 9.17 to 11.17 this morning and later this evening from 9.40 to 11.40. Brought to us by Mark Coward. Now, you know, we, we talk about out, outdoors are so good. There, there, there's good people in general. The majority of us are, and we're always trying to help people and all. And uh, I, you see that a lot because y'all are out there. Uh, every day and seeing a lot of outdoor people. Yes, uh, my mother and father. Once again, I'm just so blessed, and um, they help so many people. And uh, you know, my mom works for Children's Home Society, and she just all every day. And my dad just so giving. And so, anyways, yes. Now, when she says her dad is so giving, he is such. I, I, I've seen it. I've witnessed it myself. He, he's he's volunteer. He does a lot of work out there for. for a lot of stuff for a lot of people. Yeah, he does. And doesn't he doesn't want a, a, a bit of acknowledgement about it. In fact, yeah. I'll probably get in trouble for saying that. Yeah, but he does. <laughs> we'll guarantee you. Let's check out the situation here. We've got this coming up here. The uh, Steve Gibb Truck Share Benefit. We, we're going to uh, talk more about this, but just basically, Mandy, talk about what we're doing here. Um, well, this is a raffle that um, a friend of ours come, came to us the other day. They're trying to raise enough money to get a special wheelchair. You can see it over in the corner that lifts you up. Um, his uncle is very uh, big sportsman, loves to hunt, all different kinds of hunting. Uh, he happens to be into squirrel, uh, squirrel or rabbit hunting right now. And this chair would just be so beneficial and he's never had, had anything like this. And so anyways, they put together this raffle and they're, they're going to get this chair by getting us and we're going to help. So. Okay, now where can they get the tickets from? Um, it actually says on there, but I should have read okay. that first. All right. Well, we'll, we'll find out because uh, I've got some contracts on this too. Some people. You know what? You can definitely get them at Miller Marine. I know that. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and we'll make it some people on the show talking more about it. But this is a fellow outdoorsman who loves to, uh, to uh, do outdoor stuff and, and just hadn't had a chance lately. I think had a bad accident. And, and yeah, now, I think it was years ago. Yeah, years ago. And we're going to try to help him out again. So we'll have a raffle and that'll be something good. Uh, Let's get back to the outdoors now. Uh, advice to, to young moms. Advice to young moms? Well, yeah. young women, I guess, in general. Um, just don't be afraid to try things. Jump out there. Be open-minded. Um, you know, it's not all full of bugs and goo and <laughs> gross stuff. You can do things that, that, uh, that don't involve those. And yeah. just, you know, don't, be, don't be afraid. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, now your dad's place is up there, or the lease and all, up there close to uh, Youngstown off Scotts Ferry Road. Mm -hmm. And uh, the all, I guess, and I've been up there several times, and I've been on dove shooting and all, and, and I saw a lot of bear tracks. Y'all still have the bears? We have a lot of bears. Well, a lot of bears. Yeah, every time we come to the camp, there's little paw prints. Where they've been looking. <laughs> they've been and looking it's at a mess, but 
we have a lot of bears, and mm -hmm. I used to be deathly afraid of those. Goodness, they'd come in there while I was hunting, and you know, I'd get so scared. And now it's like it's so normal. We have a we have like a communication. You know, he looks <laughs> at me, I look at him. All right, go ahead, go <laughs> ahead. And, you know, so but yeah, right. it's it's not uncommon to see up to five in a in a morning. So, really? I mean, it's not uncommon at all. Oh, man. At, at the camp at almost all the time. So at least they do coexist with deer, yeah. and hopefully they'll get fat and go sleep soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I, we, we just mentioned all kind of outdoor stuff. You love to go offshore fishing, and, and I know you uh, go freshwater fishing and go to Cape yeah. Scallop, and you, you do all, uh, and, and turkey hunting, and deer hunting, all that. There's so much more, though, I would yeah. love to try that I've never done, and, and hopefully that, that stuff will come up. Is that right? Yeah. If you had, uh, what are some of your favorites? What I mean, I think so far turkey hunting is is my really? favorite right now. But there's, yeah. like I said, there's lots of things that I would I would love to try um, that are still around to do. I've yeah. never bow hunted. I'd love to bow hunt. Okay. So, um, lots of stuff coming up. I'd love to alligator hunt. I would love to alligator hunt. Well, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure that yet. Right down a wee wall with all your friends. Wee I know. Wall. I know they're, they're there. They're right in the middle of it. Got to take that time and go do it. I know. I'd listen to my own advice. And, all, and sometimes I don't know how you do it, but you squeeze in. I remember in high school, she was, she was a really good volleyball player, and you're still playing volleyball. Yes, yes, we play every man, Monday she's night. She's tall now. She's how tall are you? Five uh, ten. Like five ten. She's yeah. tall girl. So uh, we you, always need players Monday nights. Rec center. <laughs> what do y'all play? We play from seven to ten on Monday nights at the uh, Martin Luther King Rec Center. Since okay. I was like fifteen, we've been playing same group of people. So. It's a lot of fun. So you find time to squeeze that in. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and and hopefully start coaching again. I miss that so much. So, but we'll get we'll get to that. <laughs> Lots of stuff to well, do. Well, uh, this, this is why I brought Mandy in. You can see what, what a busy lady she is, and what a classy young lady she is. I've known her for, like Thank I say a long time. And yes, we're gonna have her back. You got to come back on the show some more now. Uh, you got to come and come to our dove shoot. I'm gonna come to that dove uh, shoot. Yeah. Like, that's gonna be a hoot. I, it's I gonna know. be fun. <laughs> So we, you got to go to work today? I do. I got to go to work. Got to go do the kid thing. Got to go get the kids up. Okay. They're still sleeping. All right. They didn't want to get up and watch me on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can do VR. Okay. There you go. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. And then, yay. All right, we'll see you later. Mandy Miller Warren. I'm Miller Marine. Stop by and say hello to Please you. Please do. You can just come by and see Come chit-chat. Yeah, well, there you go. Folks, y'all have a great day today. and Y'all do something good for someone else, and God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle on Tours with Winston Chester. Panhandle on Tours features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle on Tours.